obviously. Uh, talked to Chad at Timbury. Uh, he pretty much uh, runs the place. He's like the top guy. If he's one of the top guys, if not the top person there. Uh, and what he said to do is just tighten his bolts up. It'll pretty much square up, which it has. He said just leave them snug so you can fine tune it later. That one's a little crooked down there. So just leave it tight enough where you could uh, hammer it with a rubber mallet, you know, tap it into place, and then tighten it up good. He said uh, also tightening in these cross braces will also help pull everything in alignment. Uh, except that I need a 17 millimeter wrench to put these in place, these clamps. Uh, the ratchets just don't have the clearance to really do the job unless someone could hold it you know into position while I'm trying to wrench it it's the clearance gap in here is not very big so maybe thin wall sockets is the answer yeah and uh, if it wasn't for uh, not having the, the wrenches of course you know that's an excuse to go to the hardware store <laughs> buy tools and if I had helper today, I could get, the, I would have this thing up and running today. So, yeah, in a couple of weeks, I'll get this thing running, mill up the 6 by 6s for it. Now, I'm not paying 100, 150 bucks or so for the 6 by 6s Put it under here, I'll just get used motor oil, mill my own from a few trees I have. Take down somewhere off over there. Uh, yeah, it's only going to save me 150 bucks right away. Use motor oil, you're going to change it anyway. Coat the timbers in that, and it'll be good for a while. As you can see, it's pretty much roughly squared up. I barely did anything. I may have tapped a few of these to eyeball it up to make it kind of look square. This one's a little off. But other than that, everything more or less uh, pulled itself into alignment. And so next, uh, it'll be a two weeks before I can get back to this, so I gotta get ready and head off for work, so. Yep, two weeks. Fingers crossed. Sawdust fine.